How's it going? This is TJ Kenyon from the Learning Fuse Career Services team. Uh, wanted to quickly talk to you about different ways that you can learn to code from home. So you've decided that you want to become a developer, a software engineer, but now you're trying to figure out what's going to work best for you in your current situation. There's three main routes you can go, MOOC, hybrid, and then virtual classroom. And we'll start out and ramp up as we go through. So MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Course. Typically, you're going to see these with things like Free Code Camp, Khan Academy, or some of the tutorials that you might find on Udemy. At the end of the day, it is self-paced, which can work for some people. It's a great opportunity to see if web development is something that you enjoy, see how far you can get before then spending a little bit more money for a little bit more of a hands-on approach. Unfortunately, with MOOCs, they have a horrible completion rate. Only about 3.13% of students that start MOOCs end up completing them. And this is according to a recent MIT study. And MIT was one of the first schools to actually put MOOCs together. So really looking at how they can better improve that. Great place to start. But when you make the decision to make this a serious commitment, it's probably time to invest in yourself and then find one of these hybrid or virtual uh, classroom models. The hybrid model is going to take the MOOC and it's going to usually add a little bit of a human interaction uh, level to it. So most of the hybrid models that we've seen include either self-paced during the week and then a discussion at the end of the week. Um, sometimes they pair you with a one-on-one -on -one mentor. But at the end of the day, most of these also fall short because of the fact that they still usually end up being fairly self-paced. The discussions that you're having with the mentors in, in these classroom settings are very rarely actual lectures, and it's more of a Q&A for people to get things answered. And who knows, once again, finally, if that one-on-one -on -one mentor is going to be the right fit for you. Now, if you're very serious about this, you know this is where you want to be, but maybe you can't come to an in-person boot camp. A virtual classroom is the closest thing that you can get to a, an in-person program without actually leaving the comfort of your home. Virtual classroom is essentially going to be a teacher who's instructing you through the use of a video tool like Zoom, Google Hangouts, or WebEx. They're going to be teaching a live uh, instruction, live lectures. You're also going to have coding examples that are going on during that time period. One of the things that we love personally about working with Zoom is the fact that they have breakout sessions. You can also ask questions in the chat feature. You can raise your hand using an emoji. It is really close to being in person and being in that classroom. Um, but it, in the comfort of your own home. So if this is a switch that you wanna make, we suggest starting out and making sure that you enjoy uh, learning to code with MOOCs and seeing how far you can get. But then when it comes time to investing in yourself and your future career, find a program that is gonna match up with your needs and also keep you motivated and hold you accountable to make sure you get to that finish line. Now, if you're wondering, well, wait, I've never worked from home before. How do I do this? How do I take advantage of this? We've included a little article below, tips and tricks for working from home, hopefully get you where you need to be. Once again, we're excited that you're looking into this coding journey uh, with us. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.